Good morning everyone, this is Joseph Getz with Getz Wild and we are hiking Mount Kerrigan today. Mount Kerrigan is the 13th tallest mountain in New Hampshire, has an elevation of 4,700 feet. We are taking the Signal Ridge Trail all the way to the summit. It's going to be five miles up and then five miles back. And uh, today joining me for the hike is my buddy Evan. Hey. Evan is, uh, <laughs> Evan is an avid uh, hiker. He's done a lot of uh, 4,000 foot peaks here in the White Mountains. And I actually know Evan through uh, Great North Ale Works for the brewery that I work for. He is uh, he's uh, been a longtime regular beer drinker been of there our once beer. Or twice. Yep. yep. <laughs> so uh, it's it's Evan, and uh, and then of course Dexter. This is the start of the trail, and uh, we're going to be crossing over a couple of different brooks here at the beginning. We're going to be following a logging trail for. A couple of miles and then uh, the trail takes a, a left hand turn and we start a steep ascent to the top of Signal Ridge. It is about 7.30 in the morning right now and what is it like 55 degrees out yeah, so about that. it's it's a little bit chilly right now but it's going to be high 80s today, it's going to be sunny, we're going to get some awesome shots at the top, be able to fly the drone so we're going to get started. Dexter, shake! Don't you stick? Go get it. Throw a stick for him. There you go. For the first uh, eight tenths of a mile, the Signal Ridge Trail falls along the White Face Brook, which is what we were just next to. We just went up a series of a, a few switchbacks and uh, before too long it's going to level out. We're going to be on a very flat, uh, gradual logging road. It's a good chipmunk chase. What do you think? You look crazed. Dude, put your tongue back in your mouth. You're crazy. We are 1.4 miles approximately into the hike and we've, uh, if, you, it's, if, if you're not paying attention, you would not see this, but uh, off to the left here is an old unmaintained road. It's actually Kerrigan Notch Road and it leads to the end of Sawyer River Road, which is the, the dirt road we took uh, to get to the trailhead initially. So just, uh, I don't know, nothing too interesting, but <laughs> <laughs> it was something that the book mentioned and I meant to look out for, so I'm glad you noticed that, Evan. At 1.8 miles, you will cross over the Kerrigan Notch Brook, and in the spring or at times of high water, this, is, uh, this can be a tricky crossing, but uh, no problem today. We've reached the intersection of the Kerrigan Notch Trail, which goes for another four and a half miles or so uh, through Kerrigan Notch and meets up with the Desolation Trail. And if you go that route, you can actually do a loop. You can go to the Desolation Trail and approach Kerrigan, Mount Kerrigan from the north uh, and then come back down the Sawyer or the Signal Ridge Trail. Uh, but we are going to continue up the Signal Ridge Trail. Uh, and it is another 3.3 miles to the summit of Mount Kerrigan. Uh, so up until this point, the trail has been really nice and gradual, uh, very just kind of a nice walk through the, the woods this morning. And uh, this, is, this is when the trail gets steep. You ready, Dex? He doesn't care. He's ready to go. Yeah, the swim, he's good. 
All right, let's go. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera, if you can tell, but there is the trail and there are switchbacks all the way up this little knoll. So I imagine in the spring, this is probably flowing yeah. pretty good. Yeah. But it is absolutely just a dry riverbed right now. There were those switchbacks not far, not long ago. And now you can see behind me, the trail is starting to finally get steep. And it's about a mile, uh, just kind of straight up. The trail right now is lots of loose granular. It's definitely been a good workout so far, huh? So far, it's getting warm too. It is getting warm, yeah. We are at 2,940 feet of elevation. We are making our way up the Signal Ridge Trail. And right now, it's relentless. It's just nonstop. You can probably see the sweat dripping off my face. This is what you can expect coming up this trail, middle of summer. I would label this one as strenuous. <laughs> We are at 3,000 feet of elevation and there is a G here. What do you think the G means? Good water? You think so? Is that what that stands for? I don't know. I mean, obviously all the water you gotta treat, but. Right. What do you got? Gotta go macro. Peanut butter and chocolate chip. It's breakfast. I've never seen that, what is that? Oh, it's one of those vegan high protein bars. They're not bad. Are you vegan? No. <laughs> <laughs> Nope. Uh, we are at 3,340 feet of elevation and there is a framed viewpoint right here to the right. Mount Lowell, the ridge goes right up there and then behind it is Duck Pond Mountain. This is kind of the first viewpoint on the way up to the exposed uh, signal ridge. We just Took a left hand turn and took the first substantial switch back on the Signal Ridge Trail and I think that means that we're getting close to the uh, close to tree line. We're walking through a portion of the forest right now that was heavily damaged in 1980 by a uh, windstorm and you can just tell how drastically different the trees are here much they look like much younger trees we are less than 150 vertical feet from popping out above tree line here on the ridge definitely feels like we're walking along a ridge right now huh the trail is narrowing and uh, you can see a drop off on either side although it's really wooded you can definitely tell we're walking along a ridge right now Moments away from incredible white mountain views early in the morning here. All right. There it is. There is the, the observation tower on the summit of Kerrigan. What do you think? <laughs> Good, we're almost there. We are on Signal Ridge right now and it is an absolutely gorgeous morning. You can take a look behind us. We are at an elevation of 4,332 feet. And we have just a half mile left to the summit. So if you can see behind me, right up there is the observation tower, which will give us beautiful views at the very top. But uh, behind me are the cliffs of Mount Lowell. And then uh, Vaux Spur, which that is uh, one of the uh, top 100 highest peaks in New Hampshire. And there is no actual trail to the summit, so people, um, there are there is a, a known way to bushwhack through the uh, through the trees. This exposed ridge is one of the reasons why I absolutely, you know, love hiking Mount Kerrigan, and uh, why a lot of people do. You know, you just don't get these exposed ridge lines unless you're hiking the presidentials, which 
By the way, that's Mount Washington over there. So Mount Kerrigan gets its name from Philip Kerrigan, who is a former New Hampshire Secretary of State. He served in that role from 1805 to 1810. And Philip Kerrigan was actually uh, one of the first to produce a map, uh, a full map of New Hampshire back in 1816. And that map showed a lot of these northern uh, mountains for the first time. And uh, it was on that map in 1816 where uh, Mount Kerrigan actually uh, first appeared and was uh, first shown to people. The first ascent of Mount Kerrigan was in 1857 by Arnold Henry Gio. So Arnold Henry Gio was a Swiss scientist and he was actually affiliated with Princeton uh, University at the time. And he was studying glaciers uh, in the, uh, throughout the White Mountains. And uh, he was an early map maker uh, of this region. And, uh, and it was he and a group of explorers that first ascended Mount Kerrigan in 1857. And they actually approached Kerrigan from the east, so right behind me here. So the first fire lookout tower was constructed in 1910 by the New Hampshire Timberlands uh, Owners Association. In 1940, there was uh, the United States Forest Service actually constructed a steel fire tower uh, and just Eight, eight years later, in 1948, it was uh, listed as inactive. And then in 1981, the United States Forest Service, uh, they took down the fire tower and they actually erected a 20-foot high uh, observation tower, which is what you see up there right now. This is the final half-mile push to the summit. So just before the summit, there is an old fire warden's well. Can you actually get to the water in there? Yeah, if you had this. Down. Oh, there's a bucket, rusty you bucket. Want to drink out of that. And then you can pull up some of the water from the well here, and you just have to treat it. Simple as that. Yeah. Oh yeah, that'd be a cool spot to camp. Yeah. Talking about a little campsite here. Evan, what is the legal camping spot in New Hampshire? Tell our tell our viewers. You've got to be. <laughs> I want to say it's 200 feet from the trail. And then you have to be a quarter mile away from trailheads, uh, designated campsites, or roads. Okay. And other places. Um, so there's a few um, other weird laws within the mountains, but that's the general. So these guys are pushing it. Where so, did you learn the, the laws? Like, where uh, did you the, go to? The Red Book. Oh, the, yeah. The New Hampshire 4000 footer? Yeah, they have a thing on camping. Cool. Yeah. So I, I could it. be wrong on some of those numbers and stuff, but the general sense is like. So you can read the 4,000 footer book or you can just read the signs <laughs> that tell you where, where you can and cannot camp. Well, 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 we've made it. All right, we made it to the summit of Mount Kerrigan. It is a beautiful morning. What do you say, Gavin? I would say it is. <laughs> well, what's for lunch? BB and J, obviously. <laughs> That's hiking food. As always on these hikes, I bring up a can of beer, and today I have a can of our Great North Tie Dyed. And um, you know, Evan is probably uh, you know better at telling you about this beer, but uh, Evan, <laughs> it's a nice dry hop pale ale, light, crisp, and refreshing. Evan might drink more of this beer <laughs> than I do. Tie Dyed is a hoppy pale ale, and I like to think of this as the little brother to our IPA. Um, it's got all the awesome hop flavor that our IPA has without that harsh bitterness uh, that lingers uh, after you take a sip. It's 5.4% ABV, so it's light, it's uh, definitely easy drinking, and uh, it's just a, an, an absolutely delicious beer. So This is probably my favorite beer, uh, personally, from Great North, so I don't know about you. Yeah, same here. All right, wanna crack them open? Let's do it. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, 
Always good to have one on top. Yeah. And uh, Dexter likes beer too. So it's not getting any of mine. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know what you thought, and uh, join us next week when we climb another mountain here in New Hampshire, drink a cold beer, and uh, another opportunity to get wild.